Hey guys, today we're gonna to be preparing this short block to get ready to go to the machine shop. And the first thing I need to do is to remove the rods and pistons. And it's all gonna happen right now. So you can see right around the top of the cylinder you might be able to see it pretty good on this one. There's a little ring just of carbon and oil buildup, just of some junk that builds up there. And to get the piston out, you want to get rid of that. And I've just been using a razor blade and that has worked pretty good for me. So I probably shouldn't have to say this, but I guess I will. Um, you should probably get an engine stand. That would probably be, make this the easiest to do. Um, and I probably will have to get one eventually, but I'll just see what I can do with this right now. So from what I've read, you want to loosen each bolt on the end of the connecting rod a half turn at a time. So we'll give that a shot here. About a half turn. Cool, those are on there pretty tight. There we go. That's about a half turn. Also, from what I've read, you want to keep track of which bolt goes into which hole on the connecting rod. So I pulled this one out of the left or my left hand side right here and then I pulled this one out of this side. You're also going to want to mark the connecting rod um, for each cylinder that it goes in. So this is going to be the number one cylinder. Alright, so after you get these bolts loosened up, you can get this uh, connecting rod cap off. Depending on how tight it is on there, you may have to use uh, some kind of a hammer or something. Um, and make sure you get the bearing with it. If the bearing's not on the inside of here, then it's probably still uh, stuck to the camshaft. So once we get that off, now we just need to work on getting the piston out. To get the piston out, it looks like these are coming out really easy. I just... I didn't put hardly any pressure on that at all and it came right out. If you're going to be reusing your pistons, you're going to want to check or all the clearances are within the proper specs. I'm not too worried about it because I'm going to be putting new pistons in. I am going to put this cap back on this one here. So to keep track of which rod goes in which uh, cylinder. I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on it with the number on it and hopefully they don't get mixed up. So now you just have to do that with the rest of the cylinders. And like I said before, I should probably get an engine stand and I eventually will, but right now <laughs> I'm just doing it this way. 